The title of the book I chose to read was Helmet for My Pillow from Paris Island to the Pacific. The author of this book is Robert Lecky. It was published in 1957. This book is the author's vivid personal account of survival, combat, and the camaraderie of soldiers during World War II. He transports the reader from the time he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in January of 1942 until he was wounded in the invasion of Peleliu. This injury ended his combat service. I read this entire book cover to cover, every word on every page. I must admit that I was transformed and my opinion and respect of World War II soldiers changed during the reading of this book. By this, I mean the day-to-day -day life that we see portrayed in movies is such a small part of a soldier's life. My opinion of Leckie's writing changed also. The lexicon of the book was very difficult to understand. This led to some frustration on my part because by the time I had figured out the meaning of the vocabulary, I was struggling with the plot. I chose The vocabulary the author chose to use would almost require a dictionary to get the full, accurate meaning of the text. Lucky spent no time giving background information. This made it difficult for me because I am not a World War II scholar. This is something that I would be interested in exploring in the future, though. As I mentioned in my summary, World War II is of interest to me because my grandfather fought in World War II. The difficulty of the read was almost a deterrent to finish the book. As I continued to read, though, the text became much more engaging. The storyline was gripping. This made it hard to put the book down if you have an interest in World War II. This book would be a book to add to your book list, but it definitely should not be your first World War II book. The author's use of humor is compelling. He could elicit a laugh-out-loud moment, and then in the next scene, I would want to cry. I don't feel like Lecky sugarcoated or glamorized the war of the soldiers. I feel like it was an accurate account of everyday life in the military. It has been said that at least 90 to 95 percent of military life is boredom interrupted only by an occasional life or death encounter with the enemy. Lecky described the battle with the jungle and the fight with nature as explicitly as he did the enemy himself. Lecky also described the antics of the soldiers on, quote, quote, leave. The fact this is a first-person account of the life of a soldier, World War II, makes this read that much more compelling. It is said that Lecky wrote this book after seeing the screening of the movie South Pacific. This movie, I've not ever seen it, supposedly covers the same historical period. Lecky was upset that the movie did not accurately accurately depict the real story of World War II. Leckie's purpose for writing the book was to give an accurate first-person account of the war. After reading this book, I'm glad Leckie survived and recovered from his injuries so he could write this book, so we get a first-person account of what it was really like. I found it interesting that Leckie was the only character that kept his real name in the book, although he is also referred to as Lucky. He is Robert Lucky in the book. Or Leck. All of Lucky's characters had names that connected them somehow to one of their characteristics. Some examples would be Hoosier, Chuckler, Bud, Runner, and there were some others. I think every character that I remember in the book had a different name. Um, some of them had like Sergeant in front of them, but they still had like a nickname that went with them. He was explicit about his disdain toward the commanding officers and their misuse of their power. He also touched on the human defense mechanism to not get too close to your fellow soldiers because you never know when you might lose one of them in battle or to illness. I know that there was several that had malaria. Um, this human element of the book demonstrated the sacrifices the soldiers and their families freely displayed throughout the book. After a while, I really enjoyed the book and re would recommend this book to anyone up for a challenging, challenging World War II read. I would also recommend this book to anyone intrigued by the accurate account of soldiers and the near and present danger encountered in hand 
to hand combat. The blood, guts, fear, bravery, and sacrifice are de depicted graphically and without restraint. I would not recommend this book to someone seeking a casual read. It requires intense concentration or the reader will find themselves lost in Lecky's wide array of vocabulary. There were so many words in this book that I had absolutely no idea what they meant. But I would either look them up or I could kind of figure out some of them just by reading. Um, a lesson plan that would go with this book. This book would only be appropriate in parts by any school level within the public school system. Um, there's sexual connotations um, that I don't think should be taught in middle or in, even in high school. I feel like different excerpts from the book could be used in a history class or even a language class. Uh, the theme of the book to me was sacrifice. The central question that I would ask for a lesson plan is when is sacrifice necessary and justified and when does it violate individual rights? Um, students could write a personal goal to participate in an activity that would require sacrifice for the common goal of the class. The students would list examples of why people can sacrifice in present day activities, uh, list reason for sacrifices, uh, list benefits to others for their sacrifice. Um, they could list their cost, not just monetary um, of sacrifice to the person. Uh, and they would list small sacrifices the student can make to benefit their class. Uh, we would go over the questions about sacrifice and discuss the meaning of it. Um, I've written down several different um, quotes about sacrifice um the first one is by henry ward beecher uh in this world it is not what we take up but what we give up that makes us rich these are things that we could definitely do as a class especially a high school class that we could um go over these different quotes by famous people um one of the most famous one is uh john f kennedy um it's ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Um, I feel like most people should know that quote, but that would be something we could definitely go over. Um, and then there was one that um, I found in the book that is by Robert Lecky um, in the Helmet for My Pillow book. And it says, there is no feeling of dedication because it was absolutely involuntary. I do not doubt that if the Marines had asked for volunteers for an impossible campaign such as Guadalcanal, almost everyone now fighting would have stepped forward. But that is sacrifice. That is voluntary. That is something that we could really go over in class um, to see what a real sacrifice is for the students. Um, I really enjoyed reading the book. I don't think I would ever read it again, but um, I did really enjoy reading the book. Bye, guys.